Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today is going to be a educational video and I'm going to teach you a super simple trading strategy that uses the RSI indicator to identify overbought and oversold conditions and potential good entry and exit points while trading the crypto market or any other market realistically. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to try the same crypto exchange that I've been using for the last three years, feel free to go ahead and check out MEXC with the link in the video description down below. I personally love this exchange for two big reasons. The first big reason is because, as everybody knows, I'm a huge altcoin nerd and they have over 1,500 different altcoins for me to trade at any given time. And in addition to that, they have some of the cheapest trading fees in the entire industry right now at just 0.01%. So that's very nice because you just simply get to keep more of your trading profits. So guys, for those of you who are new to trading, okay, for those of you who are new to trading, or if you're simply just not familiar with the indicator with, with the RSI indicator, do not worry because the way that I like to explain things is I like to explain things in a very, very simplistic manner. So I will go ahead and start this off by explaining what the RSI indicator is, and then we will go ahead and take a look at the charts and or at this chart, and I will go ahead and show you exactly you know what the RSI is uh, good uh, makes good use for and how you can use it in your own charts and all that good stuff. So when it comes to the RSI indicator, it's basically a widely used technical analysis indicator that's used in trading, primarily used for evaluating the momentum and potential overbought and oversold conditions of a, of a particular asset, such as, you know, stocks, commodities, cryptocurrencies, whatever you want to be trading. Okay. Now there are, whoops, what am I doing here? Why am I go ahead and, okay. Um, there are multiple different ways that the RSI indicator can be used, okay? Now, the first way it can be used is to identify overbought and oversold conditions, okay? RSI values typically have, well, they all have, um, RSI values above the 70 line typically suggest that the asset is overbought, all right? Meaning that it may be due for a price correction, okay? On the other hand, RSI values below 30 suggest that the asset is oversold, typically indicating a potential price reversal to the upside, all right? Now, the only time that this doesn't work is here's the thing. This is why you can't trade solely based on the indicators alone, okay? Because a lot of the times, you know, as you guys can clearly see here with Bitcoin being so high on the RSI, a lot of people, a lot of beginners, they might think they might see it get above 70 and they might be placing a short order right here because they think that it's going to drop right away, all right? This is why you cannot listen to indicators alone, okay? Because the other thing you have to think about is you have to also be thinking about market sediment as well, all right? Overall market sediment here was completely bullish. I mean, super bullish. This is why we've been above the 70 line for quite some time right now at the time of me filming this video anyway, all right? Um, so realistically, you need to be thinking about overall market sediment and whatever indicators you're using as well, okay? Um, and this is why it has been above the 70 level for quite some time. So realistically, yes, it will drop at some point in time. Uh, however, how long it's going to take, I have no idea. But as you guys can clearly tell, we are way above the 70 line right here, okay? And this is the 30 line down here, all right? And as you guys can clearly see here, um, we were way, way below the 30 line way down here at one point in time in pr pretty much mid-August of 2023. And we ended up, you know, obviously reversing course and going straight upwards, all right? So that's what I'm talking about here as far as identifying overbought and oversold conditions. Now, another way that the RSI can be used is for momentum analysis as well. RSI can be used to gauge the strength of a price movement, okay? When the RSI is above 50, meaning this middle line right here, when the RSI is above 50, it generally it's generally considered an indicator of positive momentum, all right? And it's when it's below the 50 line, it's pretty much seen as negative momentum, okay? So as you can see right now at the time of me filming this video, we are currently in positive momentum overall, okay? So that is one thing you want to keep and keep in mind and be aware of as well, okay? Now, the last common way that the RSI can be used is to identify crossovers as well. Some traders typically use RSI crossovers with specific level levels as various signals, and when the RSI crosses above these levels, it may indicate a bullish signal, and when it crosses below, it may signal a bearish overall signal. All right, um, overall with you know overall bearish sediment anyway.
Overall here, you guys, the RSI is a very versatile tool that can help traders and help you to be able to identify potential entry and exit points, evaluate the strength of price movements, and spot overbought or oversold conditions. In addition, it is commonly used alongside other technical analysis indicators and, and analysis methods to make informed trading decisions as well. Realistically, in the grand scheme of things, the RSI is one of those indicators that I typically use my personal in my personal strategy on a daily basis, all right? I always have the RSI indicator on hand. Um, typically, I don't use it to trade, I, or I mean, I do use it to trade, but I don't use it to make my trading decisions. I basically only use the indicator as confirmation to what I'm currently thinking which way the price is going to go, okay? Typically what I usually use on a regular basis is I'm using support and resistance levels and then I am figuring out where I think it's going to go from there and then I will look at the RSI and if the RSI correlates with where I think the price is going to end up going, then I go ahead and place my order, all right? Now, if any of you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video or anything that's related to altcoins or trading in general, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me in my free community Discord server, which you can also find a link to in the description below this video as well. But overall here, you guys, other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for this simple video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And with that said, guys, thanks again for watching.